Cardiac tamponade is elevated pressure inside the pericardial space that compromises cardiac output. But before we can dive into the details, we need to take a trip down memory lane to review some anatomy. The heart sits in a double-layered membranous sac called the pericardium, or pericardial sac. The inner layer is called the visceral pericardium. It is closest to the heart muscle and so thin it's almost non-existent. So you can just think of it as the outer surface of the heart. The outer layer is called the parietal pericardium. And in the words of my cardiac surgeon friends, it's like smooth, glistening, thick, wet leather. Imagine the heart wrapped in a leather jacket. The pericardial space is the space between these two layers. In healthy circumstances, it contains a small amount of fluid, about 15 to 50 milliliters, which acts as a lubricating fluid. The heart is a high power machine, pumping 60 to 100 beats per minute, or BPM. Pericardial fluid is there to decrease friction and allow for smooth movement of the heart. A pericardial effusion is an accumulation of extra fluid in this pericardial space. Many people will see a chest image or an echocardiogram with a large pericardial effusion, like this one, and panic because they equate a pericardial effusion with cardiac tamponade. However, increased volume of pericardial fluid is not the same as increased pressure. And we care about increased pressure because that's what causes tamponade. Yes, volume and pressure are related. In general, if you increase the volume of fluid in a rigid container, you increase the pressure. But if the container can stretch, then an increase in volume won't lead to the same sharp increase in pressure. So it's not really how much fluid accumulates, but more how fast it accumulates that matters. Let me explain. Remember I said the pericardium is like wet, glistening leather? Well, if you've ever owned a pair of leather shoes, you know that leather can stretch. But it doesn't stretch instantly like elastic. It takes time to slowly stretch to fit your foot. The pericardium is just like this. It can stretch to accommodate increases in fluid, but it does so slowly. And as it stretches, the extra fluid will not cause increased pressure. The pressure only increases when extra volume accumulates faster than the leathery pericardium can stretch. That's why a large pericardial effusion, if it develops slowly, will not cause cardiac tamponade. But a small amount of fluid accumulating rapidly, like in the case of chest trauma, causing rapid arterial bleeding into the pericardial space, will cause tamponade. Sometimes 50 milliliters is all it takes. Join me in the next lesson to learn the consequences of increased intrapericardial pressure. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.